Hello and welcome everyone to a new game of Yixian. I'm your host Rockdam and we're playing Glongyo. This is my continuation of the Cloud Sect builds. And quite honestly, hopefully we get a new and cool build to go with. So if anyone's new to the game, this is a combination of an auto battler and a deck builder. And that makes it very, very beautiful. The theme is martial arts and the Miriam and just close to my heart i love card games i love uh fantasy martial art games and this is an auto battler just perfect combination so if anyone's asking this is my gameplay and i hope everyone's enjoying it so cloud sect is all about swords um I have played a few builds so far. Mm hmm This is cool. Just, just adding some damage to everyone. I don't know if this is the better option or we can just do this. I think this is a little bit more... I'd say uh, sane or less damage oriented, I guess. Oh my god. It's a good start. So 5 damage and 3 sword intent, so this card deals 9 and then we deal 8. It's not the worst. Overall we are 2 damage ahead of our opponent and we have 2 cultivation, so we'll usually win. So the cards, the game is you get a set of cards and you arrange them in a method. I usually go random because I love to just see what we get. So we just got 2... 5 attack and 3 sword intent. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get somewhere to throw our sword intent at. I mean, this is nice, but not ideal. Hmm. We could combine and add the wind sword. So now this is 6 damage, and then this is uh, 7 times 2, which is 14 damage. Perfect, perfect. Then followed by 6 and 8. Not bad. This is even better. Is there any way I can play it otherwise? I think this is just really strong. We start with 6 damage followed by 16. And then we have a couple of not bad, not great, but they're okay. This is a lot of hexagrams being built. Very defensive build, but that's fine. We, we just have a lot of damage. This person hasn't been setting up yet. All right, we can go into a breakthrough or we can get uh, some more cards. Let's break through. I prefer this, that at the beginning of the battle gain the effect. Following two times attack will ignore defense. Just always a nice addition. Let's roll. Oh my god, this is even beautiful, more, more beautiful. I'll keep the sword intent addition. E plus three, ignore one attack. Next one attack, ignore defense is also okay. Hmm. Sadly, this is probably the best way to build this. I do kind of lose some damage, but oh well. It's difficult to add a sword slash with form intention sword. Especially since uh, this sword intent is higher than this. Hmm. 
Mm. All right, well, we we're still good. We're really strong. So even with this messed up abilities, I'll get just a general upgrade. I think that is fine. Let's roll. Upgrade a few cards more. My God, beautiful. Just getting a bunch of sword intent all over the place. So this will get three sword intent into the nine here, and then this will add two to my sword slash. Let's just go. We don't build up a lot of sword intent, but we do deal damage almost regularly, except here. Could move these here and play these two cards. This is a possibility. So currently we're a sword intent build with a bunch of cloud sword and key in between. Just a mess or a mixture. So far, oh, he actually got through. Oh well, that is a bit mean, but that's fine. Add 11 damage, add defense for each damage dealt. That looks pretty cool. Play it this way. And we'll give up this card. Come on. Nope. And go ahead. Uh, I don't think we're really lacking per se. This is pretty nice. We'll get 14 damage and possibly 14 defense. Which could block a lot of damage if need be. We could play it the other way. Which is 11 damage and 11 defense. And then we build 3 sword intent for the 9 damage and then 2 sword intent here. The idea of sword intent is you would like to uh, keep a lot, a big number. And then uh, throw it on an attack that has multiple application. Ouch. That was really close. Really, really close. But it's okay. We'll eventually get out of this rut that we're currently experiencing. I do trust that. Um... Let's break through. Draw two sword formation or at the beginning of battle add one key. I think dragon scale is just nice in general. Let's roll. Oh, thank you. Oh, triple attack. Perfect. Um, this is just better. So this is four times two, which is equivalent to eight. This is three times three, which is nine. Simple math. One damage difference. However, the, sword, the four sword intent here applies three times, which is 12 damage, instead of two, which is eight. So that's where the bigger difference comes along. If we could get more uh, sword intent to build, the tri peak sword will do much more in general. Okay. Four sword intents starting. That is pretty good. I'm glad I get to defend some. Well, that did not work as intended. Oh wow, we're really close. We're just rushing each other. Thankfully, we somehow beat him. 
one increased attack uh, by one attack if that's like having a uh, sword intent going through um, we'll keep it around okay beautiful beautiful let's see how we can arrange things around to make our card even better let's roll this through I would like to add this one attack. Where would I add it? I think here. And then. Come on. Yep. So I get one stack of increased damage. And then four intent and three intent. Which is seven total. This seven will apply here three times. Which makes this attack 30 damage. And then we have a few hits at the backlog. Which I think is fine. If we cannot kill, which I don't think we'll be able to, we have some defense in this card, which could give us a little bit of leeway. It did help reduce the law of damage that was possible to really ruin our life. There's a lot of cards here. Um, I'm not interested in this. We could add a Cloud Sword. Not really interested though. Let's get it upgraded. This might give us an extra turn to play with. And we'll just give up on these cards. Possibly. Let's go. Getting an increase of hack by two is really, really pretty good. But because it will apply on every time we attack. As you can tell, our tri peak sword is doing a lot. Ouch. Please tell me my one mana loss really ruined her giant rock. Because I think that's what just happened. All right. Uh, should I just try and upgrade or not? Okay, that's almost there uh, as good. Two cards to throw away. This and this card. Let's break through. So we get to draw two level two cards with the name containing sword or get cloud sword, uh, prey rain. I'm honestly leaning on getting more cards. Okay, try peak level two. It's pretty good. This is 11 damage, and then this is four, so this is 15. This is nine, and plus six, that's 15 as well. So both are the same damage. But I'll get two stacks of increased attack applied on each attack. So I think this number is higher. So four times three is. Oh my god. I think math wise, this makes more sense. We'll see. Okay. 
Okay. He, uh, this person has a very similar build to mine. Just has an extra card to give more sword intent. Ouch. Yeah. We don't have the damage output. I was off by three. This is beautiful. I could start with key three and play Inspiration Sword. That would give a uh, three sword intent, but hmm, not that useful. Gain another stack of damage. Not the worst thing to think about. It's also pretty good to keep. Playing. Are we playing mana again? So easy to switch into. But I don't think so. So we got two Contemplate Spirit Rhythm. So we'll, we'll have 10 Sword Intent by the time we reach the Tri-Peak Sword. sword intent let's see i mean we're doing well i don't think we're really lacking in any way okay this is a nice chase This is 9 damage, this is 10, because of the stacks of increase attack. See if we can get things settled. I think this is better. And let's start by throwing away some cards. Let's go. The reason I'm throwing away cards is because I'd like to have a better chance of starting first, which is what happened. Starting first allows us to hit first, and in this game, having the card advantage, which is basically playing one more card, is so important. This is 8 sword intent and 4 increased attack, 11 sword intent and 4 damage. Oh my god, that was so close. We we're one hit off, one HP. So right now we deal 81, or at least a formation of 81. Let's see if we can get that one pick, which is here. Uh, key plus four, no thank you. Oh, this is good. We got more sword intent in play. I'm gonna be playing this. Okay. 
goodbye, goodbye. I need to throw one card away. Uh, I'm thinking of throwing the Tri-Peak Sword. There's so many better cards in play. Um, yeah, the, the, the Sky Delicate Bracelet is always better. Now, I'm not going to play this card. Uh, I'll play this card for sure. So where should I put this? Oh, I need mana. The mana's here. This is this is this is one times four, which could uh, replace the three damage here. I'm actually very curious if I could just play this one instead. Okay, who's gonna who's gonna hit this? Beautiful, just beautiful. So this is one times five. Also gets twelve sword intent and five attack. So five plus twelve, that's seventeen times five, should be enough to kill anything in the way. The goal is to get to it now as quickly as possible. Right now, uh, if we survive uh, long enough, we'll be able to. We do have a chase here, which helps a lot in getting through our first part. Hey. Okay. He still goes first. He survived his hit. But they did not survive ours. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. So this is two times four. Not as good as mine. Guard two two guards of stack up and chase. We have the key here. Actually we have the key here. Um I guess we could do this. I would love to get this this going as well. Sadly, I'm not sure how to get this. take it off for now for now just one turn see how we can somehow play with it because this is two times four yeah it does not have any sword intent but it has two stacks of increased attack which means it's four times four not much but not little we do have three stacks of guard ups which is not bad Oh my god, I just realized how messed up I did it. I did not look at my... Oh wow. Oh well. This is one turn that we gave up on completely. I hope guy, you guys... So yeah, that is so upsetting. I realized how bad it was after I did it. I wonder how long I'll last, but yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> oh, 8 sword and 10 thrown on the sword slash. This... The fact that I'm even in... still playing is weird. Okay. It's a complete mess play. Uh, complete, complete mess play. Let's play. Uh, hmm. Yeah. 
Let's uh, put this in. Yeah, let's put this in. Since we have the ignore uh, defense, this will always proc. We can also have this card play now. So this will always proc as well. Let's roll. No, thank you. Um, we could combine these and play this. So overall, it's the same, but we have a better card here now. No, thank you. Sadly, nope. Do I want to play this? I really don't feel the need to. So we'll keep it. So we get one chase here and another chase here. That's two chases total. We could add one more chase. Um, and basically it's this card and I'll have to get rid of one card. Thinking maybe this or this. Let's see. Yeah. We lost four sword intent in the process, but we sped up our gameplay a good amount. We also have five attack damage. Boom, that, that's a good hit. Uh, I hope my one stack is good enough, my one guard up. Oh god, is he gonna hit me now? Is gonna hit me now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, my guard up made it through. That's the only way we're surviving this. And now we're hitting him again. Perfect. Uh, none of this. Uh, let's just draw a card. We get to upgrade a card, so we have to be careful uh, when we throw this away. Uh, please give us something good. Uh, this is not something I want. Um, okay. I'll also throw this away. I don't need it. Do I want to play this card? No, thank you. So if I use this, it will upgrade one, two, and possibly three, four. Sure. Oh, it upgraded this one. Uh, I guess not my favorite, but better than nothing. We're ready. Uh, this one sword intent that got uh, that upgraded means uh, five more damage, which is not bad. This person is playing an unrestrained sword build. She also has, uh, starts with one extra, so it's gonna be pretty strong by the time he gets here. We have 9 sword intent, which is not bad. Let's see. We got our first hit. We got our 5 attack damage. He's starting to hit hard. Very worrying. We got our first guard up. And now we're at 9. We blocked a little bit of damage, and now we are dealing ours. Ouch. Oh my god. No, come on. Just needed to hit. Any hit would be fine. Oh, that's fine. It's, it's, it's kind of disturbing, but oh well. Come on, give us something cool, please. That's better than nothing.
I mean, this is not bad. Uh, very reliant on uh, injuring the opponent, which is not good. I could just increase this damage by a bit and play the card again. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's basically two times two, but it gets the stacks of increased attack damage, which is what I was thinking, because like, uh, will be like five it will be 10 damage here and then once it finishes the round it'd be like 15 twice which i think is i mean makes sense right now this will be six damage at the beginning and after one round it will be 21 damage which is not bad either This person is building uh, a healing build to a certain extent. Don't think it's... We'll see. I mean, I, I don't want to uh, speak too fast and then get ruined. He's building a lot of key. We got our head off, which is not enough. But we're going on to our second build. Our second hit, I mean. I'm thinking the Sky Delicate Bracelet is not doing us a big favor. Because we're dealing a lot of damage, that is for sure. Please give me a good card. Oh. Let's see if we can where where should we have this? I don't need this. I just want Thinking this is better, I'm not sure. Um, we could even get rid of the two increased attack damage, especially with this. is 9 80 percent of 9 is like 6 or 7 plus but that's like 15 we'll see we'll do the math if we need the extra 2 damage here or not currently we're at 9 13 but we got 3 stacks of guard up which is a lot we did deal 26 a hit for 5, which is pretty good. Uh, we're back into trying to stack things up. Ouch. Then we kill. Okay. Even with her having so many card ups, we're still good. And we're first place, guys. Look, it's not the prettiest, and it's not the least bit janky, of course, but that is a sword intent build, if you ever want one. And thank you all for enjoying the game with me. I was really stressed, but we did well. We did well. And thank you and have a good game. Bye-bye.